Hi guys. Hey, wanted to show you guys my entry for the first responders group build uh, that I'm putting together. Um, the Winberg Dodge Charger. Uh, this thing is just freaking cool. Um, it's got like 200 and there it is, 274 pieces. That's unreal. Um, I unboxed it the other day and I was just like, wow. Um, took some of the parts out of the plastic, but, you know, some of it stayed in. Um, I just wish the box opened like a normal model box, but, no, oh well, can't have everything, can we? But, there is the charger body and a interior uh, part, the floor pan and whatnot, and then the underside. Um, I did not cut that open the other day. I wish I would have. Um, once I start doing this stuff, I'm going to be w wishing that it was... Uh, Time to get started. I oh, figures can't get into it. Anyway, you get the idea. There's a underside, the uh, Dodge Charger body, and the interior. So that's cool. Uh, there are several different parts here uh, that have to do with the different flasher bars that you can use. I think there's like eight different styles. Um, pretty neat little setup there. Uh, here's the clear for the uh, different flasher bars. I'm kind of surprised that none of them are like red and blue, but I don't know. Uh, here is a piece that has the uh fan the the belts and pulleys uh the injector or the intake uh make a wire pump excuse me guys um wheel backs it looks like yeah wheel backs um cross member radiator radiator shroud fan your headlight buckets and your front struts which I think they move I think the, the steering is open on this where, where it actually moves um, looks to be an oil pan or uh, intake with your uh, you know, fuel injectors it looks like Excuse me. I don't know what that is. Some of these parts, there's a lot of parts here, so I'm not really sure what all everything is, but uh, here's your rear axle, sway bar. Um, man, this thing has definitely got the parts, the uh, exhaust manifolds, your, uh, looks like your fuel uh, racks for the uh, injectors. Uh, part of your transmission. Um, yeah, it's just got all kinds of stuff. And another set of pulleys and whatnot. I think that you can do like two or three different engines on this. Um, there's the transmission sides. I think you can do a Hemi. And then there's like a stock and uh, whatnot. There's like three different ones, I think. Power brake booster, I believe. Maybe not. Like I said, there's just so much cool stuff in this thing. This is the first Lindbergh kit I've ever built, and I gotta say, I'm really impressed. Uh, here's all your glass, which I'm leaving in the plastic. Your side windows. Uh, 
tail lights, headlights, neat stuff. Here are some wheels, um, some more engine parts it looks like, grill, some other parts. Here's the bad boy back seat. Doesn't look real comfortable. There's the uh, divider for the back seat in the front. Got your uh, center console with uh, drink covers or drink uh, holes. Um, this something's really cool. There's a computer. There's the keyboard. And there's the monitor. Pretty neat stuff. Got some radios, I think. I think those are radios. Mm. Uh, some different wheels, chrome wheels, mirrors. Uh, spotlights. I'm, I'm not going to use the black stock wheel like that. I'm kind of. I, I just don't like black wheels. I don't care if it's a cop car or what it is. If I got an option, I can do something else. I do it. It's look like spare tire wheels to me. Um, more engine parts. Nice, a whole different, there's a engine block halves, that's cool. More wheels, chrome grill, there's your four main uh, gauges, tail lights. <laughs> And then it was really wild because I looked down in the box and it's like, holy crap, there's a whole nother set of parts laying sideways across the inside of the box. It was pretty surprising. Uh, get the hood, the um, rear view mirrors. Looks like a um, shroud. Firewall. Uh, steering wheel. Um, dashboard. Nice. Yeah, this thing's definitely got a lot of parts. It's a good thing uh, I said like three months on the build because it's going to probably take me all three months. Definitely, definitely like this kit. Big thanks to my big brother for giving it to me. Uh, your front seats, front seat backs. Your rear seat and nose and tail. That's a rear seat if you want to do it like a regular charger. I guess this kit can be built like a regular charger without the police package. Um, but that kind of defeats the purpose in my book. Uh, I got your door panels. This is cool too. I've, I've never built a model kit that has its own headliner. Usually the headliner is the inside of the roof of the body, but this one is different, so that's cool. You can actually add a headliner. Yeah, I hope it don't fall down like the real ones do. Let's set out in the sun and your headliner falls down on you, especially in Arizona. Uh, some more parts look like suspension parts, shock mounts, something like that. Yeah, let's see what else. All the 
loose little stuff. Uh, here's your bad boy um, back mirror or back window, divider window, a couple of little clear parts, uh, a couple other things, a uh, wing. Well, that'd be cool to have on a patrol car. I don't think I've ever seen one with them, but who knows? Uh, another set of chrome. Those evidently are your center caps for the wheels. And then it's got four really nice, they're, they're no-name tires. These are the first tires I've ever seen that don't have a tree cut off, you know, where they, they come out in a set of four and they're attached to an X. These do not have any of that. I've never seen tires that are like that without being cut off of something, you know, and then you got to cut out little grooves and try to make it look as good as possible. And, uh, no, they don't have that. That is really cool. So, of course, you got four of those. And a little piece of something. I don't know what that is. And another little piece of something. Then, uh, your decal set, which I'm going to look around for different decals because I'd really like to do it something other than, um... Illinois State Police, but we'll see. It does have uh, the gauges for the dashboard, so that's cool. I may do it Illinois, who knows, but I just, I'd kind of like to do it like maybe um, NYPD or something like that, Chicago PD. I don't know if Chicago's got, I'm, I'm Sure, they probably do. They got uh, the unmarks and the TV show that are Dodge Chargers, but who knows? I'd like to do a Chicago, and then with that other one, I got um, the uh, uh, New York uh, Police Department, but who, uh, who knows? We'll see. Uh, detail, there are details. The uh, destructions, there we go. Instructions, instructions, whatever. I like to draw out on that. That looks cool. Draw your parts laid out. It has in there what ones are uh, X'd out for the uh, non police version, the straight Dodge Charger. Like I said, it's got 274 parts, so that's a heck of a lot of parts. That's cool. Um, got all your uh, stuff down through there and your decals. And of course, first thing, engine half together, building the engine, putting the uh, timing cover on and whatnot. Then your uh, cylinder heads and covers. Your manifold and your fuel racks and uh, belts and hoses and uh, that looks like I think that's a lift engine lift um, and it's got some pieces for the exhaust pretty sure uh, hoses Fan, fan shroud. Um, you put your motor in the uh, chassis, transmission. Cool. It's uh, step eleven. Doing all your steering components. Uh, I think those are. Dust or uh, debris guards, I think. You got your center heat uh, 
heat shield. It's got some pretty dang good detail. I'm, I'm somewhat pretty impressed. <laughs> uh, suspension parts. That's 12, 13. Put your rear drive uh, shaft and axle in. 14, your exhaust. 15, your wheels, which, like I said, there's different uh, versions of them. What I'll probably do is paint some of them silver and do it that way. Get your interior. Uh, with your decals That's cool. I always like decals Putting your uh, console together or your uh, dashboard together Steering wheel and whatnot. There's your front seats. Oh Wow, it's even got seat belt uh, part coming out of it. That's cool. That's the first time I've seen that. There's your computer with little map lights. Nice. Your hood, body and whatnot. Uh, and you put your seats in, you get your console, your computer. Firewall, door panels, armrests, and uh, bad boy divider with the glass, and uh, putting that into the car. You know, like I said, it's really neat. Oh, and there, there's a headliner, and it's got a separate uh, sun shades or sun visors. That's cool. Oh, 27, 28, that looks like a gas door, uh, receptacle thing, there's your hood, it's got hinges, put in all your glass, and made everything up, and your flasher bar, Windshield wipers, gas cover door, and then you do all your top parts for the uh, engine. That's pretty slick. Rear bumper and tail lights. The front grill and nose assembly. Yeah, put your uh, nose on and your shield on the bottom. And then the spotlights and then your decals. Dang, that's cool. I'm liking this kit, guys. I think it's definitely going to be a fun one to build for the uh, first responder group build. Um, like I said, the group build, uh, it goes July 1st through uh, November 1st. So it gives you three months. And, uh, you know, if any of you guys want to uh, join up, all you got to do is uh, comment below and tell me that you're in. And do an intro video of the kit you're going to use. And uh, make sure you use the hashtag first responder g b and uh i'll have it down below so you can see it too but um yeah then uh like i said i i prefer an unstarted kit if you got one but if you got something you've already been working on i know a lot of guys are doing group builds right now with different uh kinds of things and you know if you already got one go ahead and enter it it's no big deal um, cause like I said, I mean, you know, I know there's a lot of other stuff going on and I don't want to step on anybody's toes, you know, with the, the 
awesome, you know, group of guys that are in our modeling community. So, uh, well, that's something I never thought I'd associate myself in a, being in a modeling community. Well, I'm an ugly model, but <laughs> anyway, but, um, different kind of modeler, but, uh, anyway, guys, um, uh, yeah, definitely welcome to the group build. And, uh, if you guys want to, uh, join, just let me know down below and, uh, have fun with your builds. Um, look forward to seeing what you guys want to build and can build and what you do build. So thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Have a great rest of your night and uh, stay safe out there. Thanks, guys. Bye.